Hello and welcome to the Home Building Hero, where we help you be the hero in your new home. I'm your host, David Bellman, president of Bellman Homes. I want to thank you for tuning in today to our exciting topic, making a magnificent mudroom. And this is really one of the areas of homes that we're seeing a lot more focus on, and that's the mudroom. It is typically at least in older homes, a room that's overlooked, but it has a lot of potential for people to uh, really expand and, and make their home a lot better. And it's unfortunately for a lot of people, one of the most frustrating rooms in their current home because typically older homes just don't have the space in the rear hall that is needed for all the stuff that we have. And a lot of times that's where clutter um, accumulates and things like that. So here are some tips to make an excellent mud room in your new home. First and foremost, you want to have more space than what's currently provided. So in your mudroom area, you're going to want to have it larger than normal and you want to start putting more built-ins in your mudroom area. So for example, one of the biggest things that we see nowadays is people adding in what we call cubbies or lockers. And those are spaces where you can hang your coat and it would have a place where you could sit down and then up above there either could be open shelves or a cabinet door. And down below, under where you sit, there would be either a drawer or a flip top that you can put your shoes or boots in. And typically, there's going to be two, three, or four different cubbies uh, lined up together, and each person can have their own space and store their own personal items in there. Now, if you really want to do it well, what you can do is add in an outlet up top and also put in the USB port so that you've got an area to plug in your phone and uh, put your other small items. And that is probably one of the biggest request items that we get in a backhaul is to add in the cubbies. Of course, also for your mudroom, you're going to want to have, if possible, a drop zone. So a drop zone is typically a cabinet that's going to be counter depth height. And what you're gonna do there is have just a base cabinet with some sort of top. It can be a wood top or a granite top maybe a drawer, and then some doors below. And it's just a great place to store um, small items like your cleaning supplies or items that you might take out to the garage. And it's a perfect place, of course, when you're walking in with a handful of groceries to set down your bag of groceries. On top of that Dropbox then, we see a lot of people that'll put in key racks or maybe a small shelf so that you can put those small items. The key rack is awesome just because, again, the first thing think about when you're walking in the door, you got those keys, you want to hang them up. The other big component of a really magnificent mudroom is to put in a nice closet. Now, most back halls will have a small coat closet, but let's be honest, those are very difficult to keep organized and they really can't store a lot of things. So either, if possible, want to have a double closet and leave one half of the closet for your brooms and your vacuum cleaners and then have the other half of the closet uh, be more suited for your actual coats. Ideally, if you have enough room, you should go with a walk-in closet and that will make things a lot easier because then you can not only put in your brooms and your cleaning supplies, but you can also hang lots of different jackets. And especially in Wisconsin, you've got boots and snow pants and things like that. So that makes things a lot easier if you can fit in a walk-in closet into that space. The other thing that really can make a great mudroom is to put in a little office mini office area and I I don't mean like a full desk and things but have a a little place where you can put like uh, an envelope sorter so you can put all your mail sort it um, maybe have just a very small little countertop where you can set things down and and then sort your mail uh, for the family members um, or if you have anything that needs to go out the door and have that sort of be sort of the message area in the central part of your home you know you could also have either a chalkboard or a little wall calendar there as well so you kind of have the family calendar so right when you're walking in and out the door you know you can check your mail drop your mail off see what's on the calendar and um you know, maybe you have a phone and a notepad there just so uh, something quick. Um, or if you're in the garage, you know, phone rings, you know, walk right around the corner into the house, take the phone call, and you're back outside. So those things are really great in the mudroom if you can fit them in. And uh, we see a lot more people doing those type of things as well. Also, when you're working on creating the magnificent mudroom, you have to be very cognizant of the flooring that you put into the mudroom. So 
wood floors are okay uh, obviously you want a, some sort of hard surface floor ideally though a nice tile floor or a, an LVT a luxury vinyl tile floor something that's gonna be a little bit more durable is really gonna make a much better mudroom for you because think about it a lot of people are gonna be coming in and out from your garage to your home that's probably the most used entry uh, unless you have lots of house guests then you, maybe your front door would be but it's one of the most used areas so you want a nice hard surface flooring there now if you really want to go above and beyond that would be kind of a, a good solid mudroom with the things i mentioned but if you really want to go above and beyond and really create a magnificent mudroom here are a couple other things that you can add on that can really make it over the top if you have pets i've seen a lot of people put this right in their mudroom and it's a dog wash basin and so basically what it is is it's a, just a very small, might be a three or four foot uh, tiled area with tile coming up the wall about the same three or four feet. And they have a small pull-out hand spray and a floor drain and maybe a little lip on it just so the water doesn't get all over. And so you can easily wash your pet and clean them. And then, of course, if you can, have a small cabinet or a little counter next door to it so that you can put the shampoos and the brushes and maybe a little dryer uh, for your pet. So we are seeing quite a few more pe people add in dog wash stations and it's, it is a really nice idea if you can make it work within your space. And uh, that way you're not tracking a dirty pet all the way through your home into your bathtub and getting that dog fur or, or cat fur or whatever animal you're washing all throughout your house. So that's one thing that you can add if you really want to make it super special. And the other thing that you could do, and I think this is going to be a big thing going forward in the future, and that is a package hideaway area. So as you know, everybody is ordering things online. They're buying stuff from Amazon. They're buying things from their favorite stores and having it shipped to their home. If you do this right, it can work out really great. So what you do is you have an extra door going into your mudroom area. And this could actually also be on the front of your home if you wanted, but it's almost like a breezeway. So you have a outside door and a small area, and it can be either a, uh, a little bench inside there, or it could just be uh, maybe a little two foot space or three foot space and then you go into another doored in area and so the idea behind this is that there's your primary door on the outside and you either give a key to your delivery person or you put an electronic lock on it with a special code on it and your delivery person can then hit the code drop your package off relock the door and leave now your package is not sitting out in the rain in the snow and uh, it's safe and protected it's out of people's view and then, of course, the second door further in would have your normal key on it. And so that way the delivery person can't get into your full home. They can only get into this little breezeway that you've created. So how you design it and how you do it is totally up to you. Uh, like I said, um, I've seen a lot of people just kind of put in like a bench that's open below and you can set items below it or set you know bigger packages on it. Um, if you really want to take it over the top, if you're getting groceries and things delivered, you could actually have it set up where there's maybe a mini little fridge in there so you could put you know your milks or your ice creams in this fridge freezer combo and then you set the rest of the groceries on the little bench and uh, you lock that area up and everything is safe and protected so uh, that's another great idea and I think a lot of people will start to add those on to new homes in the future because that's just the trend everybody is ordering things online nowadays and they don't want to necessarily go out and go shopping so uh, what do you guys think are those great ideas for you for a great mudroom if you guys want more ideas or want to read up more on creating a magnificent mudroom, please make sure to visit our website at www.bellmanhomes.com. That's B-E-L-M-A-N homes.com. And you can check out our article on that. And of course, if you love the content here on this podcast, make sure that you subscribe to it because we have helpful articles like this coming out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So make sure you subscribe so you can hear the latest podcast. And we thank you for turning in to The Home Building Hero. We'll talk to you all soon.